Hey, this is Trick72. I've seen a number of really dumb gun control articles come out since the San Bernardino uh, shootings. Um, if you thought Sandy Hook was bad, um, they seem to be really ramping up their game uh, on uh, Al Jazeera America, which, um, by the way, is scheduled to fold up shop in uh, April, I believe. Uh, they have been pumping out a number of uh, gun control articles, uh, almost too num numerous to count in uh, January of 2016. I, uh, I will put the Google search results down below of uh, how much uh, stuff they are uh, pumping out as if it's their only existence. Um, it clearly, clearly this is an agenda that is uh, being pushed on us. I've already uh, showed you that uh, Huff Post has this uh, uh, common sense uh, gun control uh, columnist who is a hunter who uh, disagrees with the NRA. Um, uh, he's uh, pumping out articles as well. So, um, and Additionally, we have seen uh, the return of the ghost gun. Yes, the stupidest uh, gun control theory of all has uh, returned. Like, ooh, we got ARs with uh, you know silencers or suppressors. Um, so this article here in the Sacramento Bee talks about that. It's uh, December 20th, 2015. So there they are, all those uh, naughty ARs with the uh, uh, suppressors that are uh, untraceable. So, um, and never do you hear how many uh, guns without uh, serial numbers are actually uh, committed in crimes. So um, I, I will explain why it really uh, doesn't matter. Um, and here in the article they explain um, it's hard to know the true extent of their use by criminals. All law enforcement databases rely on serial numbers to track firearms and to monitor trends. So uh, actually it is pretty simple. Um, all you need to do is take your little database program and add another column that says uh, you know guns without serial numbers. You can add long guns and handguns. Um, it's pretty easy to do, but you'll never uh, see it being stated, I'm sure. Um, yeah, let me so tell you why I think this is all uh, posturing, especially in this article, is because, um, you know, an AR-15, if you slow the bullet down, down to subsonic, you might as well have a just use subsonic 22 ammo and you're pretty much gonna have the same thing so I don't know of any uh, assassin that is uh, going to be willing to change uh, this you know into this so I mean why would a criminal want to make assassin want to make his gun less deadly. You are basically uh, wasting all of this extra powder in this cartridge. All that power is being negated. So this whole um, silencer suppressor thing um, it really doesn't make sense. Plus it will make your gun more likely to misfeed and I don't know of any assassins that are willing to uh, reduce the power and uh, reliability of their gun when they want to kill somebody. So, um, again, I just think it's all an attack on the uh, building community. They can never, you know, quantify, uh, you know, how many of these guns are being used in crimes. Sure, they can say that they've... Uh, bought some and some undercover stings, but um, um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, if I uh, ran over someone with my 
uh, car does it really matter where I bought it from uh, does it really matter if I filed off the you know the VIN number on my car does that make me some you know ultimate you know stealth criminal if I do that uh, no what matters is, is the you know evidence the ballistic evidence and the biological evidence uh, proving who was where you know at what time and so forth uh, having a serial number or having a you know tag on the back of your uh, t-shirt uh, you know really doesn't uh, matter if it's uh, you know there or not as far as uh, trying to prove a crime so um, again in other states they've had these serial number you know tracking programs and there was one there was one on the East Coast that recently folded up after they spent you know 15 million you know dollars on it um, you know you're maybe gonna have you know one crime being solved you know for every five million dollars you pump into these uh, serial tracking programs so um, this is why I think this thing is it's, it's all posturing um, again in California they're trying to have registration for um, you know, semi-automatic uh, rifles with detachable magazines. So, um, again, they can't quantify anything. They're always mixing up. Uh, yeah, there's illegal guns on the market. Um, doesn't really matter if they have a serial number or not. Um, it doesn't make it easier for people to get away with, uh, you know, crimes. Um, it's it's all uh, pretty ridiculous. So uh, those are my thoughts on the uh, the ghost guns. They are are uh, trying to uh, make a return. Um, so let me know what you think. Yeah, uh, this is Turk seventy two out.